Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I want to focus on a project that I have my students doing that involves their ultrasonic sensor. It's called the self-parking car project. So what the students are going to do, they have their robot educator, they have their ultrasonic sensor on, and they're going to now mimic a self-parking car that will sense that there's a car there. We're going to basically parallel park and have that ultrasonic sensor activate a program to have their robot park itself in between two cars. So if you want to see that project, stay with me. He now Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. So again, it's always our goal as teachers to try to take something, a concept that we're trying to teach our students and have it be connected to something that they can, you know, connect it to. So I want them to be able to see that this is actual technology we can use to have a car park itself. So what I want them to do is, and you can have your students either brick program this or computer program this. It's gonna be a lot tougher on the brick because there's that 16 block limit, but it can be done. And just because something's hard doesn't mean our students can't do this. Uh, but my students are gonna be brick programming their robot to park itself in between two cars it's gonna be shoe boxes actually. And so what I want them to do is to be able to problem solve. And I think having them use this on the brick is really good because now it, it forces them to be efficient with their blocks, not wasting any blocks to get that robot parked. So what I wanna do is go ahead and show you what this is gonna look like at the parking lot table. Okay, so this is my setup, I just have shoe boxes that will take the place of the cars. If you're wondering about the dimensions of this, let's go ahead and measure this out. Um, I have this being, well, if you count the blue tape, I have this being seven inches this way. And I think we measured this out pretty accurately. So there's 12 right there. Uh, let me go get a different ruler. Okay, so it's going to be 18. So it's going to be 7 inches this way and 18 inches this way. If you're not counting the blue tape, this would actually be 6 inches then. Let me just double check that. Yeah, about 6 inches. So it, it kind of depends if you want to include the blue tape or not. My students can park it, um, it within the blue tape, so it's up to you. Okay, so we have the robot ready. So the goal again is to get this robot with ultrasonic to be able to sense the car here or the box and to be able to park itself facing the same direction within the parking space. My students were like, Mr. Gino, you know, what do you think? And I'm like, man, if I park like that, the police would be giving me tickets all day. So I tell them, let's have your robot be parallel because this is why we call it parallel parking. So I have the shoe boxes here. So the guidelines are to brick program this with 16 or less blocks and to have their car parked like so. If they don't want exceeds, they can you know be like this and I would give that a different grade. Um, but it's up to you on your grading scale here. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. Okay guys, so if it works out fine, this is what it should look like. Hey, pretty good. We'll take that. Uh, and now uh, for, for the back. That's it. There we go. Yes, that's the one we'll take. Okay guys, so there you have it. The self-parking car ultrasonic project. It's a really good project to get students to think about the maneuvers that their robot's making. I had a lot of students that went, wait a second, you know, they were going too linear, like this way, this way, this way. And a lot of them were thinking, hey, if I can, you know, angle this a little better, I can eliminate some of the blocks. So it was, it was a great problem solving project for the students to be able to see how this program's gonna work and eventually get that thing parked. So you can always alter the way you consider success. I had that 
blue area marked off um, and I give my students an exceeds met you know for their grade you know so you can alter that how you want I usually would not give an exceeds if the car was angled a certain way but you guys can do what you want um, I like the fact that they're brick programming that, programming this and I'm not going to get too crazy on you know their car being perfectly straight so you guys can do what you want to do I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.